Yo, back with another pickup video. Uh, as you can see from the thumbnail, I was uh, I got this for free. Um, I ordered this from Target on um, the 12th of February when it was released. Uh, by the 18th, um, like on the 12th, I got a notification said that it was shipped, and um, and then on the 18th, it still was no updated tracking information. Now, granted, there was a storm. Uh, the ice storm that everybody's probably familiar with um, was going on. <clears throat> and so I figured it was probably late to that. But from the research that I was doing online, um, I found that um, this thing was probably lost. So, or they just ran out of stock, didn't have it to send me. So anyway, um, I contacted Target, asked them what was going on with it. They said that it was probably lost and that they were issued me a refund. Um, and if it was found, and ended up um, getting sent that I could just have it. Well, here it is. I think it's the 21st or the 22nd. And um, this thing showed up. So anyway, very glad to get that and uh, free, of course. Uh, however, I did go ahead. This is my, I ended up getting two. Um, the, after I found out that this one was um, probably lost, I was running around on, you know, online trying to find another one. Um, I didn't want to pay, you know, buy it from a scalper. I was looking on Best Buy, Walmart. I don't even think even had any. Um, GameStop, you know, looking for Target stock, and I couldn't find anything online. They sold out. Um, and then <clears throat> I looked and saw that I was checking to see if they had any at my local Target, like in-store, so I could do in-store pickup. Uh, they didn't, but they had one in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which is probably about 45 minutes from the house. So I went ahead and, and I bought it. A couple days later, when I got time, I ran up there to go get the uh, system. And um, I pull up and they bring it out to me. They give it to me, you know, I get my order or whatever. I paid full retail for that one. And then I walk inside to go just like do some shopping and stuff. And I walk through the video games uh, aisle and, and I saw that, uh, man, they have like six or seven of these in the cabinet, plus like just as many new Horizon ones and um, the Animal Crossing edition. And then they had, uh, they didn't have any black joy commas, but they had the neon blue, neon red. But anyway, it was cool to see that they had that stuff in stock. But anyway, I got two of these um, with the only intention of getting one. Um, I thought about not opening it. And this one here is still in the packaging. I mean, it's, I opened it to see that, but I mean, it's all, it's all there. Anyway, I um, wanted to keep it sealed. And anyway, it just I just love that red color and stuff. I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, so, but now I will with the second one. This box here is in not good condition either. So I'll probably open it up this one. Keep another one. It's got that ding right there. If you can see right in here. It's pretty, uh, and they put a sticker on the back too. And it left some, like, tore the box a little bit right there. Anyway, this one here I'll, uh, open up just, and then the next one, the other one I'll, uh, you know, keep it sealed. All right, got a, this is from Double Jump Video Games. Um, I had purchased in a will it, well, it wasn't a purchase, it will it trade. I ended up getting some GameCube stuff along with some other retro stuff for, I traded a Switch Lite in a game or something. Um, picked up a cop or this was in the uh, in the lot of games that I got, but it was really scratched up. And my local game stores, disc resurfacers um, are not good quality and they stay broke most of the time. So I sent this off to uh, Cooper up at Double Jump Video Games. Um, if y'all don't know about his channel, it's Sick Cooper. He owns a video game store in uh, Vancouver, Washington. Um, and uh, anyway, he's got a really interesting um YouTube channel, uh, a lot of fun. Anyway, he does disc resurfacing and stuff. Cost me like two bucks to get it done. You can copy of Melee, no top scratches. And this thing was pretty scratched up and it looks mint now. Um, Cooper has a state-of-the-art resurfacing machine and it's like two bucks a disc or something. And also pick this up on Marketplace for cheap. Um, wait till you see the back. Now, when I mail this off, you can see how scratched up it is and see that big ring in there. I mean, I, I got this for almost nothing. Um, anyway, 
when I mailed it off, I think that it cracked during mailing. Um, as you can see, right. Let's see if I can get it in the, the camera right there. See it right here. There's a crack in the disc that wasn't there when I sent it off. And I know that they didn't do it. Um, because they called me as soon as they opened the package and was like, Hey, look, this got a crack in it. It's not going to work, which I would have obviously wouldn't have sent it off to him if, if that, uh, you know, the crack was there before him, but it happened during shipping. Anyway, this thing is destroyed. I'm going to trash the disc, but I will be selling the case on eBay. And it's just got the little paper inserts and stuff. Okay. And then picked up a, a Wii U um, stylus for my Wii U pad. I lost it. Look at this. Picked up a copy um, of Silent Hill Downpour. Uh, picked this up on eBay. I paid $39 for this free shipping. Let's see what this is. I think these are some power supplies for... Yeah, picked up a couple of power supplies for a PS3. Um, I'm going to show you here. I picked up two PS3s. Uh, one I got for a friend of mine. I just wanted to gift him. And uh, another one I'm fixing to show you here in just a second. I got this off eBay, case only. And that was for the copy of Smash. Um, the manual for this thing, it's like almost as much as a complete copy. So anyway, now I got that in the case. I'm actually in the middle of a move. I'm moving from Alabama back to Mississippi on Thursday. So if you see kind of like just stuff laying on the floor, that's why I'm getting packed up and getting out of here. I'll put that right there. Let's see here. All right, now this is a really nice pickup. Y'all are gonna really enjoy this. I uh, won this on auction on eBay. Uh, it looked to be in very good shape. The guy said uh, he's the original owner of it. Um, it never was used much, he said. And I've been wanting one of these so bad. It is a fat PS3 H, or uh, excuse me, A01 model, which means that it's the model that actually has the PS2 hardware on the inside of it. Get this out of the way. Look at this thing. Warranty sticker still on, still intact. Let's see here. This thing is in really nice shape, man. Right there. So I paid, it was $202 plus shipping. Um, I figured I was going to get it cheap because the auction was in, ending like on a Wednesday, like seven in the morning, morning or something, but it did come with a few games. Um, nothing great at all. It did come with a PS, uh, PS3 controller and holy smokes, man, this thing's in good shape. I mean, that's a really nice looking controller. Good shape. Yeah. You can tell it wasn't played with much. I mean, look at the sticker and stuff on the back. Yeah, I'm sure this will work fine. I'm gonna test it as soon as this video's over. Um, let's see, these are the games that come with it. Um, Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Trash, trash, trash. Uh, trash, but I want to play it. Uh, never got in Assassin's Creed. Grand Slam Tennis, me and my buddy will probably play that. Um, Madden, whatever. Kills on three. All right. Let's see. MLB The Show. Womp, womp, womp. Call of Duty Ghost. I'll probably play that actually. Um, go with cables and hookups. Also come with the camera. Here's the power supply. 
can come with the camera. Um, I'll probably just keep it. I'll never use it, but I mean, I'll probably just keep it, put it in the collection. Um, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time trying to find this stupid camera nobody cares about, but you see, really nice, clean condition. This stuff doesn't look like it was ever used much, which is, uh, is a big factor into why I purchased this one because we all know the story of those uh, fat PS3s. The lifespan and stuff on it. And make it whatever it is you have to do to it. The um, putting that. Oh, there's the the game that long that come with it. Um, it's a Motor Storm on the PS3. This was this come out. This was a launch game. It actually was bundled with the system, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not playing that either. I've got that on the PS4. It's like a free game on PlayStation Plus. All right, last thing. Let me show you this. All right, Facebook Marketplace. This popped up, my local hometown here in Jasper, Alabama. Not my hometown, but a place I'm staying. Jasper, Alabama. It's in really good shape. Uh, white PS3 Slim. That's my copy of NCAA football. That didn't come with it. Uh, and I paid up for that from Game Exchange. 140, 140 plus tax. Anyway, that was a while back. Come with the white matching controller. Anyway, I paid $100 for that. And it come with the DJ Hero turnable and the game complete and all that stuff, which I didn't care about that. I simply cared about this. Um, I made a decision to uh, uh, here recently, anytime that I find anything that's rare or uncommon, stuff I don't see a lot, and I can get it for about half of uh, retail cost, that I'm gonna pick it up, even if it's something that I don't really want. Um, now I have a black uh, PS3 uh, Slim, Super Slim that I got in the, um, a recent pickup video, but, uh, and I didn't need this, but since it was white and I've never seen one in the wild, um, I decided to pick it up. Now, this last thing, let me see where I put it. Where's that other PS3? Here it is. All right, lastly, I picked this up from a local um, thrift store. It's rough on top, but um, I've cleaned it up a little bit. I actually told a friend of mine, a buddy of mine, he's not into games too much. But he does like playing college football, and there's a few other games that me and him like to play together. Um, he doesn't like video games enough to go out and buy something like this for retail. I told him I'd keep an eye out for him, and if I could find something for cheap, I would get it and just give it to him. Well, that following weekend, I walked into a thrift store. This was laying in there. It had the AV cables, no HDMI, and the power supply. I brought it home, tested it out. I had all the other cables and controllers and stuff, um, and uh, it worked fine. And um, a factory, like the, I did the, I formatted it last night. Um, the uh, hard format that takes, takes like up to 28 hours. It took like eight hours or something to format this. So I'll be gifting this to my friend. And last thing, um, I know people are probably not gonna believe me about the free switch. Um, it'd be hard to believe for me too. Uh, anyway, it happened. I mean, I, I got like 13, I get like six views every six months so it's not like i'm trying to like get clickbait or or whatever um anyway i really did that's that's what happened and target actually told me that customer service they said hey look um we're sorry that we screwed up this uh special edition switch we know it's not going to be able to be it's not there's not going to be any restock um and the best thing we can offer you is if it shows up you can have it for free and um i kind of laughed i was like well we know that ain't happening <laughs> you know um, I couldn't believe that happened, man. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a few days after they gave my refund. I got an update on UPS tracking. It said your items due to be delivered. So anyway, that was very cool. I was excited. Also, I gifted a, um, copy of, um, Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury, um, to a friend of mine, had it sent to him through Amazon on launch day. Um, anyway, here it is. 22 days later or excuse me the 22nd 10 days later and um 
uh, Amazon sent me a notification like night before last saying that they're sorry that the package is late. Um, it could be lost. We're giving you a refund. And if it shows up, you can keep it. <laughs> so lo and behold, man, I, I get a notification on my phone uh, yesterday that it was in, um, you know, in his local hometown due to be shipped today. So it's going to be uh, sent out today. So I got the Bowser's Fury um uh, mario super mario 3d world bowser's fury for free from amazon and i got a freaking red and blue mario special edition switch for free man so cool i mean legit no i mean they just it, it just give it to me through um you know slow shipping times but anyway nothing i took advantage of i just called find out where my package was at um was it being shipped um and i even told them that i expect it slow delay or uh shipping times because of the ice storm and the and the bad weather and everything and they were you know they said that they thought that they had lost it so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video and um as soon as we um i'll be moving to mississippi here in a few days and i'll get back to grinding on my days off from work and what i mean is i work on a riverboat i work 28 days on 28 days off that's why um i don't put out videos more often so I have a full-time job and when I come home, I am a video game collector and, um, and a part-time reseller to help cover cost of things. Um, so I'm always looking, I'm always thrifting, I'm always yard selling, I'm always Facebook marketplacing, um, looking for a deal, man. Um, I do have some trades in, um, in the works right now for some new Switch lights that I bought, trading them for retro video games. Um, I got some stuff in the mix and I'll be updating a video doing that here soon. Um, and when I find a couple more finds, I'll uh, try to get another video out before I head back to work next week. So, but anyway, um, looking forward to seeing you guys in that next video. And uh, thanks for watching the um, my channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.